Well, uh, to the bridge. Uh, there's a skit here. I still can't get over their skills. You mean those assassins? Yeah. From what I could sense, they're practically Hellion class. They're still just regular humans, aren't they? I think so. <sighs> but why aren't they Hellions? Well, maybe they're good people? Good people? They're the most feared assassins guild on the continent. You know about the scattered bones? Scarcely a soul doesn't. No one's seen their faces and lived to tell the tale, so this is all just conjecture. But rumor holds that they've been involved in close to a hundred assassinations. Nobility, military officers, underworld bosses. I'd always thought them just a colorful urban myth, but... Given their fighting skills, I'd say they're the real deal. And yeah. yet it is a fact that they were not Hellions. Do you think there is a reason for this? That I could not say. A reason they don't turn into Hellions? Please don't tell me you want to hunt them down and ask. Who knows? We might meet him again whether we like it or not. Boy, lucky us. I mean, he's got a point. If we find out what differentiates them, then it could be beneficial information. Ah. Focus, guys! May your soul that was too far. Let us relish this victory and sally forth. Got an octopus. Let's begin the purification. You mustn't neglect your nutrition. Done any work on it? How could this be? It's just like, what do Excuse we do me. here? You put rocks, but when we do that, it just falls into the water. If the shepherd can calm the water spirit, I wish he'd calm this river a bit too. Uh, waters, they feel like the water's too rough. And that makes sense. Are they just planning to keep... Are they planning just to keep us standing out here like this forever? Hello, sir. Oh, that's a curious outfit. You must be the shepherd. Yes, I'm Saray. I am Nath, a representative of Marland, the town on the other side of the river. Greetings, Nath. Lord Soray, I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the water spirits. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Now you must stop the oh, rampage gosh, of the water. Hey, Mr. Awkward. Nath, was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see... Thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the water spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. 
Ha, huh, I see. Then... Serene. I, uh... No, I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you're the shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry. Yeah, you, get, you people need to he get it together. His sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freight company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a ferry captain to... But then that ferry captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So, you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do. And the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! Alright. How do we... How do we get there? I was kind of looking forward to seeing him too. She said to the west, right? Okay, so we have to go past those guards. Like, what's going on over there? A mermaid. Your nerves. Oh, right. We gotta talk to Alicia first. I was just wondering why we were missing half the party. All this fighting sure makes me. All right, let's go back down. Where's Alicia? Do you have a moment? We hey, must to speak to you. I'd like to discuss this further with you later. Be ready. If you say so. Trouble? Well, I want to assist with the reconstruction too. For Marlin's sake. I asked, but... Not going as well as you'd hoped? I'm not the sort to give up so easily. I just need more time to explain how I can be of service. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking we should talk to an Earth Seraph who lives on the Spirit Crest about helping with the reconstruction. They could change the riverbed to form the bridge's foundation. Mm -hmm. You... you can do something like that? It's definitely a possibility. Yeah. 
Sarai. I would like to properly convince everyone that I can help here. Would it be a bother if I were to stay behind? Nah, we should be fine. Do what you need to do. We're counting on you, Alicia. Right. Okay, We've so they are going to stay here. Then we're off to the Spirit Crest. See you in a bit. I beg your pardon, but did you just say you were going to the Spirit Crest? Sure did, old man. Is there a problem? Rayfolk Spirit Crest is best avoided if you value your life. There is a reason that mountain is so frequently mentioned in the legends of the dragons. It is a place in which no man should set foot. Legends of the dragons? I don't remember anything like that coming up in the celestial record. Tell me, do you know the legend of the eight serpents? That's the legend found in every culture of the eight dragons who betrayed the Seraphim and were banished to the underworld. Hmm. Our tales tell that one of those dragons still remains in Rayfolk Spirit Crest. But the Celestial Record doesn't mention anything like that. Perhaps not. It's hardly reasonable to think that all the legends in the world can be encompassed in a single tome. I appreciate the warning, but even so, that's where I'm headed. But... It'll be fine. Lila's never heard of that legend either. All right, see you later. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we can... We can only have one Seraphim. One Seraphim per person. I don't need a save right now. Oh, let's kill these uh, eagles. Hello. Great, I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Oh. Stage. Nothing else. Uh, the Spirit Crest, the Dragon's Lair. The mountain certainly is impressive up close. Yeah, I can see why they call it Spirit Crest. But still, dragons? Probably just a story some bard made up. Certainly the last time I was here, there was never any sign of one. You mean on your journey with the previous shepherd? Hey, uh, let's play a game. Pick a number, one through ten. Got you! It was twelve. She's off the rails. <sighs> Must be that pesky oath of hers again. Anyway, if there really were a dragon there, we wouldn't stand a chance against it. So what? If we run into one, we better hightail it out of there? Hopefully we don't run into one at all. Okay. We have a monolith. Blast gauge. That's what BG stands for. Okay. Hello, guy. Some sort of ogre or something. Amateurs. A gun?
can't take the heat, huh? Looks like Zavid here is gonna have to show you first timers how it's done. No need to kill it. Looked to me like you were just getting your asses kicked back there. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. What? Why? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I can always count on the shepherd and his posse to be a bunch of goody two-shoes, can't I? You knew I was the shepherd? A self-righteous choir boy facing off against a Hellion. Who else would you be? The name's a <laughs> True. Damn pleased to make your acquaintance, gentle shepherd. How dare you! The spirit crest is way out of your league. If a dragon were even to yawn in your general direction, you'd be gone. We are not here to battle dragons. Your concern is noted. You're not? Well, that's no fun. Nothing adds spice to life like a sworn enemy. I take it you are here to fight the dragon, then? That had been the plan, yes. The plans, they change. You serious? <laughs> Looking pretty good, aren't I? Zavid! What is it you want? Do you really think I'd be willing to just drop the shepherd and his toadies into the dragon's lap so we can gobble them right up? If you're so eager to get eaten okay. by the dragon and compound his power, it's better that you die by my hand! Here and now! What's the, what's the plan here? Huh. I wonder how long this is supposed to last. Oh. Whoa, hold up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right. Okay, so he'll back off. That's enough, okay? You're the one who attacked us. He said I'm sorry already. Sheesh. I'm not your enemy. Let's call a truce. Deal? Fair enough. There's no reason for us to fight. See? Somebody here has their head on straight. And besides, we're all part of the same team in the end. Know what I mean? Are we? Sure. I don't plan on becoming anyone's sublord. Speed. All right. All right already. I'll leave you alone, your shepherdness. It's Saray. Sure, your shepherdness. Sure. Saray the shepherd. Well, I got better things to do. Don't forget to run if you see a dragon. Is it really true that a dragon lives here? You got eyes, don't you, Saray? Why don't you try using them? What is that guy's problem? His power. It doesn't feel like purification at all. Almost more like it feeds a malevolence. <laughs> I can't he respect is, someone like that. A different. seraph who would just kill a Hellion. Yeah, it's sickening. Let's be off. We have our own agenda to fulfill. Right. Okay, so there's a dead man here. Um, just a moment. I want to bury them. Saray. He feels responsible.
Let's go, Miglia. Lila. Oh, what's that? A harpy. So is that a human or a bird? Some things you're just better off not knowing. Okay, and we didn't get any experience points from that last battle, I guess. Because nobody died. Or nobody was defeated. Over here? No, no. Black stuff. <laughs> An assassin. Hey, aren't you from the Assassin's Guild? Why would you be after me? Do you realize how disturbed the people have become with someone like you running around pretending to be the Shepherd? Huh? But I mean, I am the Shepherd. Care to prove it, Shepherd? As if you could. <sighs> Such strength. And he's down. Yes. Another. We should run. Something's odd about this. You're right. They don't seem to be Hellions. Agreed. If anything, I think they're intentionally giving us a chance to escape. I wonder if they'll still target me. Who knows? You did just give them some uh, valuable intel. Counting on you, Lila. Yeah, we got this. Let us not be full of ourselves and continue. A lot of this is kind of a badass with the fire magic. Surely this is fate. It's an armadillo. I'm sure it'll curl up. Oh, you're sure, huh? It's an armadillo.
Should we go to that right now? Uh, let's check this spot out first. Let's get the armadillo. Funny. Everything okay? Oh, sorry. I'm quite picky about the way things curl up into a tight ball. The way things curl up? Yes. <clears throat> it was the Armadillo Seraphim who taught me the true splendor of it. I'm disappointed in the Hellion we encountered. Very amateur hour. The Armadillo Seraphim? I'm kind of not following this. The Armadillo Seraphim. Arma Walt and Arma Langston. You know. The legendary three-time curling champions. No, I don't know. I'm kind of not at all following this. Curling this champions. Told me of wow. the world's greatest curlist, Arma Dillon, who left years ago on a journey to master the curl. What I wouldn't give to what? see that ultimate curl. It's my dream. Mikalyo, is she okay? Something tells me we should just let this one slide. Yeah. Arma Dillon, where hast thou gone? Arma Dylan. What a weird girl. Hello? Let's go. Saray, what happened to your usual archaeology fever? I'm quite sure there's all sorts of things to research about that shrine. I can't say I'm not interested, but there are people suffering right now because they're missing a bridge. I'll deal with it. There will be plenty of other times for exploring. I'm glad. I feel I may have been misjudging you this whole time. Please, forgive me. No need to apologize. Saray's usually so predictable. Very true. I predict we'll talk later, Miklio. <laughs> I mean, there are more important matters at hand than exploration. way how do we get over there hello I I can't do that okay Let's 
You were quite strong, but we're not oh, pushing. Let's begin the purification. You were quite strong, but we're no pushover. Oh, monolith. Now, how does this go up? Counting on you, Lila. Get him! I will smite evil! Blow and surge! Fight him, everyone! Looks like we win! The Mysterious Seraph. What's with that guy? I kind of want to ask her about that guy just now. He's always just so... Blase. I also want to ask about that strange item he had. And what nerve! Being so scantily clad in front of a lady like that! Maybe now's not a good time to bother her. Good call. Alright. We should be getting close, I imagine. Is there anything over there? Rocks. What? Is this? Is this the domain? It can't be. Are you saying malevolence could corrupt a domain this far? We should escape. The strongest entity in the domain decides its form. It has nothing to do with right or wrong or malevolence. <sighs> but it's just like with Gramps. The lord of this land must have detected our intrusion. Bro, it's the dragon. Destruction. The dragon. <laughs> well, this is bad. Running home to us a bit of good. This is all my fault. I was going off my own memories and just assumed that any talk of dragons was faithless. So, you mean this dragon is a recent addition to the mountain? No, it can't be. Are you... Edna? Oh, Edna! I can't believe it! You, a dragon! Nope, guess again. Huh? There are two Ednas? Your conclusion is peculiar. Brother, you must stop. Brother? Brother. So even my voice no longer reaches you. Run like the wind. She is. Does this look like the time to chat? Move. Uh. She said, "Run like the wind." So. Let's just get out alive. you go to to get that dumb? Huh? You crave the fame of being a dragon slayer? Is that it? Edna! I thought you really had become a dragon! Thank goodness! Well, you haven't changed. People would respect you more if you actually worked on your personality. Actually, we came here looking for you. And so you marched into a dragon's territory? You guys really did go to Dum Dum Academy. Why, you? I'm sorry. <sighs> 
So... Huh? Was there something you wanted? Oh, yeah. I'm Saray. We need you to lend us your power. We were hoping you could make the foundation for a bridge, so it can be repaired. No. Huh? I despise Earth Dwellers. Self-centered, emotional. But when they need something, it's... Oh, dear Seraphim, heed my prayer! Heed this, morons. And besides, I can't leave my brother as he is right now. That dragon, he's your brother? Yes, that's correct. That is Aizen. He's the only family I have. But... Edna, was it? It's too dangerous for you to stay here. That's right. What do you even plan on doing? Well, I... Um... So she's the Earth Seraphim. I thought there had to be some way to cure his condition, but I haven't found anything. Well, there we go. I bet I can quell him. Seriously? Once the Seraph has become a dragon, even the flames of purification cannot salvage them. Are you saying there's no way to save her brother? The only option I know of is to kill him. If we even can, that is. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. I don't want to admit it, but... Right. Either way, it's dangerous to be here. I won't ask you to help us after all, but you should get far away from here. I agree. This is none of your business. Look, Edna. Leave me alone. Boink. I guess our cooperation won't come so easily. We'll find some other way. <laughs> the more important thing is, we can't leave well. her here like this. True enough. Well, then I guess we'd better go after her. All right, so back down the mountain. Everyone okay? Did he jump over there? Oh no, if you have Edna in your party, probably you can uh, do some magic to get over there. Edna! What's this? Did you bury them? Yeah. It was the least I could have done. Huh. Edna. Enough. I don't care how dangerous it is. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Then let's go together and find some way to save Aizen. Didn't I tell you already? There is no way. I'm not so sure about that. Hmm? The Seraphim, the Shepherds, the Dragons, they really did exist. There are still so many legends which have yet to be uncovered in this world. There must be a way to purify the Dragons somewhere, just waiting for the right person to find it. There he goes again. Not now. You're asking me to believe that? Yes. Can you give us a chance? All right, Saray. You win. I'll go with you. Wonderful! Sweet. But let's be clear. Huh? If you really wanted to take me with you, you should have just dragged me kicking and screaming. Let's go hunt legends, my lady. My noble heart would not deceive thee. That went out of fashion a few hundred years ago. I... I didn't think I was... Surrey's never been in fashion. Never been okay, around humans Lord. until now. Make me your sub -lord. Well, Wait a minute. They're not I even human. For you never mind. You're the one that invited me, aren't you? Yes, 
but still. And in any case, if I'm supposed to leave here, I need to be transferred into a new vessel. If not, I'll be corrupted by malevolence. Or didn't you think about that? Well... Academy valedictorian, this one. Come on, Lila. Are you really okay with this? You were just telling us how much you hate humans. I do hate humans, but I guess so we have this to one's find pretty a vessel okay. For Edna. Okay. Thank you, Edna. Promise me something. Promise me that we'll find some way to save Aizen. Together. Oh, ye born of firmest resolve. Here let our pact be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite aloud your name. Have some Yuland. <sighs> so is she now a sublord? Use this. Edna, you were already carrying a divine artifact to serve as your vessel? Looks like we've been had, Saray. <laughs> I never did understand girls. Now then, take me with you to the outside world. Huh. You got it. Here we go, Edna. Yeah, I uh, get that. Um, okay, so just down this way. Hey you, water boy. You got a name? Nicleo, not water boy. Nicleo, not water boy? That's a new one. Call me what you like. See if I care. Okay, Mebo. It's Miklio, all right? Miklio! <laughs> if you say so. Well, I see who runs this household. Yep. Whoa, what? Since when was this a household? Yeah! Can you guys not practice your comedy routines inside my head? An exclamation point. Oh. I guess I don't need to worry about that. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Assassin. They called you their boss, didn't they? I really am the Shepherd. I know you won't believe me, but it's true. Real or fake, it doesn't matter a bit. I can feel someone's blessed domain. What? What? I got you. You mean she has a level of resonance on par with the Shepherds? She does? But she can't even see us. Let's save the chat for later. This girl is strong. I can tell! Stop! This is pretty tough! Saray, let's flee! Your whip's a burner! Burn away! The pillars are flying! Stop! Run on your closet! Fall forward! Fall forward! Burning at them! Scatter! May these weary bones find peaceful rest. Okay. Um. That didn't work out so well. Uh, let's try with Mikoyo. I want to change, uh, there we go, there we go. Saray, let's flee! Oh, because the assassin can't see this arrow. 
Yeah, I'll just let uh, Ed know or Lila take care of her. Rock trigger. Okay, that's not doing anything. Hey, you gotta be closer to her, man. Nice job, Nicleo. You've been slacking off, haven't you? We did it! Yay! <laughs> that works. <laughs> oh my! That's Dezel! Dezel. Do you know of him? He lives the life of a vagabond. I heard he had taken a liking to a particularly fearsome band of traveling mercenaries. Why is he with the assassins? I suppose something happened to the mercenaries. There must be a story behind it. You don't just join up with a bunch of assassins for no reason. I'm surprised he hasn't become a Hellion by now, hooking up with an assassin's guild. There was no malevolence at all coming from that assassin. No way. No malevolence will fester among those who are pure and clean of heart. That assassin was exactly like you, Saray. A pure and clean of heart assassin? Really? They make those? They make those? Apparently. What's wrong? So... It doesn't matter if I'm real or fake, huh? Then I guess this is what you meant by me taking on the burden of the Shepherd. Yep. Don't fool yourself. Humans don't think for a moment about how you feel. But what do you expect? They're humans. She's right, I'm afraid. You'll have to learn to deal with it. Well, good thing you're pretty tough to begin with. <laughs> I wish. Uh, well then. Okay. Surely this is fate. Back at the bridge. It's like nighttime now. Still don't think you can help us out? The shepherd can command the seraphim at will, isn't that right? Do whatever you want. Yeah, no, you're not a tool for me to use. If you really don't want to help, I'll find some other way. I see. You like to guilt trip a girl into making the first move. What? Saray, maintain your purity. <laughs> I knew she was messed up, but... Man, if you guys aren't the dullest crew of fuddy-duddies ever assembled, I was going to help you from the get-go anyway. <sighs> <sighs> You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks a million. Another seraphic mystery. Saray, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? You're being targeted by assassins, right? <sighs> sure looks like it. Did you cause someone to have a grudge with you? Like that unmalevolent assassin? Hmm, not that I can recall. So you have no recollection of it, but somehow you are targeted by an unmalevolent assassin who has a seraph dwelling in them? Well, I mean... I think it's just because I'm the Shepherd. Because you're the Shepherd, huh? So you were somehow targeted by an assassin who somehow isn't affected by malevolence, which somehow possessed a Seraph which didn't turn into a Hellion. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, I'm glad you understand. So, basically you're totally clueless here. Pretty much. Pretty much. 
Okay, where's uh, the old man? Lord Saray, it is a pleasure to see you again. Likewise, how are things looking? Well, there's still no telling when the bridge will be repaired. All right, then I'll make it so that the bridge can be fixed. What exactly does that entail? Uh, forgive me, but I'm a bit confused, Lord Saray. In any case, I shall summon Lady Alicia. Please, wait here a moment. Wait a minute. You're going to do this right away? Yeah. I want to cheer them up as soon as possible. But... Don't you know what humans will think about you if you demonstrate power that transcends their simple understanding? I do indeed. Huh. Well, okay. Suit yourself. Maybe you like being treated like a monster. Hmm. It's your call. I won't stop you. But think carefully about who stands to lose the most from what they're warning you about. Right. Hmm. Build the foundation of the bridge immediately? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Probably not immediately. Change They're warning me for a Hager? reason. Yeah. Better we do it late at night after everyone's gone to bed. Okay. Fine by me. Sorry. I know everyone was worried about me. I probably just wasn't thinking. You tend to take too much on by yourself. Yeah, I'll watch out. Oh, Saray, you're back. Good choice. Hey! Lord Saray, what exactly is it you intend to do? Well, I... Uh... Alicia. We decided it wouldn't be good for Saray to draw too much attention here. We're waiting till midnight. So... Well, the sun has already set. Why don't we handle this first thing tomorrow? Oh, a fine idea. Very well. Then we'll see you tomorrow. Incidentally, Nath, regarding the transport of your goods to Marland... Oh, 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 yes, of course. You're the best, Alicia. Now then, let us wait until midnight. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay. Okay, here goes! My word! Nath! I can scarcely believe what I'm seeing! So this is the Shepherd's power. Mr. Nath, I can explain. This means Marland is saved! Oh, joyous day! Thank you. Oh, thank you so much! Three cheers for the shepherd! You, you don't have to thank me. Lord Soray, 
you intend to head out right away, don't you? In order to avoid prying eyes. Yeah, we're going to go to Marlin from here. I suspected as much. Then, if you may, please escort Lady Alicia with you as well. Mr. Knave? Lady Alicia, I know your position is a difficult one, but your duty in Marland is all too crucial. Please go at once and demonstrate your famed ability and sincerity. So you knew... I may be stuck here for now, but if you two are in Marland, then I will know I can rest easy. Please, attend to your duties and leave the bridge to me. Understood. I'm sorry, Mr. Knave. You have my thanks. I shall make sure the bridge is even better than before, milady. It should be. There's so there uh, some pretty understand. good rocks to support yes. it now. <laughs> this is the happiest I've been in a while. Crying, I'll puke. Nafe, might we take some medicine from you? Can I ask such a thing after all you've done? Yeah. Thank you. I am in your debt once more. I think we'll be off now. Thanks for all your help, Nafe. <laughs> oh, Poppycock. It is I who should be thanking you. Let's go, Alicia. Will I really be able to cross the river with you? Of course, if it's just you. You've already made the Squire's Pact. Mr. Nath, thank you for being so understanding. We shall meet again. Lord Soray, thank you so much. Lady Alicia, I leave matters in Marlin to your capable hands.